Good day guys, it is an official ball off. We've got the 2018 TP5X versus the 2019 TP5X. Taylor made a claiming that this new ball is going to go further than last year. I'll be the judge of that. So helping to propel the TaylorMade golf ball sales in 2019 is this new signing of Robbie Fowler. It's Ricky Fowler. Yeah, I just said that. Ricky Fowler. So Ricky Fowler's just been signed by TaylorMade on a glove and ball deal and wins within a few weeks. Is that a coinky dink or is that because it's this new golf ball? I think it's just good timing if I'm being honest, but there's no denying I used a TP5 last year, TP5X, sorry and I've got to say, it's probably one of the best golf balls I've ever used. So, we've got, at the moment, Rose and Rory with a TP5. We've got Rahm and Dustin with the X. So, usually you'd say TP5 slower clubhead speed, TP5X faster clubhead speed, but in this case, have you seen Rory swing it? It doesn't hang around. So, he's up there with the Dustins and the Rahms, so you'd think he'd be X, but I'm starting to think this is more of a feel kind of category. So, we've got, Rose, who also hits it, and Rory, TP5. Softer, more spin around the greens, a bit more feel there. And then the X is just, I assume, the booming golf ball. High trajectory, low spin. Sacrifice potentially a little bit of spin around the greens, but at the end of the day, it's firmer feeling, it's to get it out there. That's how I'm categorizing these two. So let's quickly touch on the tech. I don't want to bore you here, I really don't. Um, it's a golf ball at the end of the day. There's so much tech that's gone into this thing, it's very, very impressive, and I'm sure that's the reason why it potentially is going to perform better. We will see. I'm definitely not going to write the old golf ball off yet, as I've said. But at the end of the day, all we care about is performance. The story is great, but it needs to perform better for us to get a hand in the pockets and actually pay for this thing. You could open it up and it could look like the Avatar world. Doesn't matter if it performs crap. Just say it, just say it. So we've got a new speed layer system. Yes, we, along with that is HFM, High Flex Material, acronym for. High Flex Material, again, I'd like to tell you something scientific here, but it is all to do with pure ball speed. We've got a new cover as well, which is gonna hopefully be more durable. Not that I really had any issues with the old one, but hey. If it's better, it's better. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you here. I was gonna do this test on the golf course. Yeah, until I received three of the new golf balls. Three. One, two, three. I could look at this sleeve and they disappear. I don't, I've already lost them, okay? If I go on a golf course, I could lose three golf balls in one swing, or it would feel like. So I'd rather get the test in here and actually get the numbers, then try and do it on a golf course, lose three golf balls and be like, now what? We've got this screen up for reference purposes only, it's not gonna track the ball for, for flat properly because it needs those patterns. What we do have is we've got screen capture on the tablet from the GC quad, so it's gonna be a straight out GC quad test. We'll have a look at the numbers at the end and see how, we, how they perform really. So that didn't pick up on there, but it did on here. So let's, before we look at the numbers, let's move to the old one. That's it. Does feel slightly softer, the old one. This is where robot testing, I suppose, is fair. It's the same conditions every time. The way of doing it this way is we are in the human. Let's have a look at the numbers of these. 
Okay, let's check the results on this massive iPad. It's like a table. It is huge. You can eat your lunch on there. I'll sit here and you can sit there. Anyway, numbers. New tech, always been a fan of Foresight, so I, it's great to have it back. Apparently now the technology here is it captures on the iPad and I can throw the information onto the screen so you can see it. So, there you go. I don't know what you've just been shown, but I'm hoping it's the numbers. Anyway, so we did start with a new TP5. Thought that was going to be fair. So we've got a ball speed of 176.3 to 172.1 with the old TP5X. So, yes, you can say strikes, blah, 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 but... I thought I did the same five swings, that's all I'm saying. Then, the distance, I've got a carry difference of five meters. So five, minute, five meters more with the new TP5, which is probably excessive. Like I say, a few strikes were old, with the old were bad. They weren't very good, but I've done this test a few times and not once has the old outweighed the new on this occasion, which I think is very, very, very interesting, I've got to say. So, more spin, on average, with the new TP5X. That's with a 1859 with the old TP5, which I thought was quite interesting. That's pretty powerful trajectory. And that's the one that went 294. So, you know, interesting, interesting numbers there. I've got to say, the old is good. The old is a great ball. You can definitely feel a difference between the two, which I thought was very surprising. I thought it was just going to be, oh yeah, they're both white, they've both got dimples, maybe I've got a few meters on the old one, but there we go. You, want, you wanted to see a review between the two, these are my results. It will differ for each person, if I had a dollar for every time I said that, we'd have a few dollars. So these are my numbers, go and test them both out. I'm confident enough for you to go and test these two out and see how they perform for you. And let me know your results, because I'm very, very interested to know. Guys, thank you as always for watching. If you need any more help, contact me on my table. Um, email is down below. And of course, subscribe. Thank you very much.